What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, and today we're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at Doom Eternal, obtained via Steam, Game Pass, Bethesda, Windows Store, what have you. This is how you mod it. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helps you out. Comment down below on the best finisher in Doom Eternal, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. To start off for modding Doom Eternal, you're going to need to connect to the Doom 2016 plus modding Discord server. Link's down in the description. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Doom Eternal, Eternal FAQs, and you'll have a list here of the different mod installers you're going to need to go snag. Whenever you're using the Game Pass one, you're not going to just be snagging the normal injector. You're also going to be snagging something that's called the Doom Dumper, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But you're just going to come here, and you're going to go ahead and download this guy here. And I'll extract it to a zip file in your downloads and go ahead and just put that wherever you want. The big thing you're wanting is the Doom Dumper EXE. This is going to actually extract the Doom, the Game Pass or Windows version of Doom and store it in a file location. And basically what this is doing, it is taking the game, moving it elsewhere, and as a result, basically segregating the copy from everything that's Windows related. It will be on its own. You can't update it, you can't do anything with it. It is basically a dead copy of the game at that point, besides the fact you can play it and mod it. So you need to choose your path to your Doom internal reinstall location. For mine, I'm just going to go D dot dot whack. Games, I believe. Yeah, we'll just do games. No. Go ahead and create a new folder here called Doom. That way it's empty. Once you have your path, go ahead and hit enter, and it will go ahead and extract the game to that location. Getting rid of the original copy and basically giving you the access to mod it. I'm not going to continue on with this path just because I do have a licensed copy via Steam versus Game Pass, and I'll be doing all the modding over there. But this Doom Dumper is purely just for this section. After this, we're going to be using the Injector. If you use the Doom Dumper, you're going to actually know exactly where your location is. For anybody who's using Steam or other methods, this is where you're going to pick up. So we're going to be doing Doom Eternal, and we're actually going to be going to our game drive all of them, you'll be going to the game drive, basically. So let's go ahead and browse the local files. Whenever you're using the dumper, it should automatically add the mod loader into it. Because we're not doing the dumper, though, we're going to have to actually unzip this here. And we're just going to go ahead and open this guy, and we're going to just replace... my current stuff. Let's see how it works with this one. Now what's this going to do is it's going to back up all the basic pieces of the game and then it's going to inject the mod pieces into it. It's also created that disabled mods folder. So whenever you're done going ahead and adding these mods in, you can run the game Use the mods, and then you can disable the mods later on, and you can go back to the vanilla state. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and load up Doom Eternal real quick and see if we actually succeeded. I'm just going to run Doom Eternal from this guy here, because I don't want to bother trying to find my shortcut. I have too many shortcuts. It's a problem. I feel like a little ultra violence. Now again, success criteria is simple. Golden gun means we succeeded. Non-golden gun means we failed. I can solve evil with help. Skippity skippity skip. All the wickedness of mankind can 
We must handle them. Only you. Rip at them. Yeah, skip it, skip. Oh, that's a gold shoddy. say we succeeded so that is how you mod this make sure if you're doing steam windows whatever you grab the appropriate one off the discord you'll find the discord link down below all credit goes out to these guys for making this possible but yeah you'll find the discord link in the description you'll find the link to the mod i'm using in the description i hope this helped you out Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions for other games or content that you'd like to see on the channel, message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to join my Discord. Links to the top of my channel page or over on my description. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below on the best finisher in the Doom series and subscribe to the channel for more weekly mining content. This was Couch Command. You'll have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.